Hey family, this is SP News Nuggets, and today, you guys, is the one-year anniversary of um, Camille McKinney. Came up missing October the 12th, 2019, and this is the year anniversary of that. We're going to share the clip of the information that the mom had an interview, and uh, we're just going to share this information with you guys. Here we go. Here we go. Hey family, this is SP News Nuggets, and today you guys, I want to share with you Noah's closet and all the beautiful things that she has. Everything that a woman loves. This is 2020, you guys. Noah has all your accessories over there. She has your Versace, she has your Gucci, and your authentic handbag. She also has your perfume. If you guys are looking for Chanel or CK or Gucci, this is the place to be. Make sure when you go over there, tell her SP News sent you. You're not going to regret it. Are you a Warriors for Children and she'll work with you? You can walk on the runway with this one, you guys. I guarantee it. Jeff, Camille McKinney's mother sat down with me tonight just one year after she was abducted and murdered. April Thomas tells me that's just a pain a mother never wants to have to feel or that she never can recover from. Things still be incomplete. You know, everybody at home with their kids and mine's not here. April Thomas remembers the night, October 12th, 2019. So every day I had to wake up and I had to face that my life is different forever. It's the day she learned her daughter Camille McKinney had been abducted from the Tom Brown community while attending a birthday party. It ain't easy because that was somewhere where me and my kids was comfortable going. Thomas says Camille would have turned four years old this year with a bright future ahead. She'll be starting pre-K with her cousins, starting her first year of a big school. Camille's grandmother, Sharon Thomas, says she was filled with life and always smiled. Oh, she was joyful. Every day she sit out there on those steps in front of my yard, running up and down the sidewalk playing. Something she says Camille will never get the chance to do again. It robs her of her whole life. And I know hate is a strong word. But them two people, I hate them. I really hate them. I hope every day they wake up, I hope they think about what they did. I want them to pay for what they did. And I hope every night it hunts them. The family says they continue to ask the community to stand by them and pray for them just as they did one year ago until justice is served for Camille Cupcake McKinney. It's a heartbreaking month for folks in Birmingham. Next week marks one year since the abduction and murder of this little girl, Camille Cupcake McKinney. Earlier this year, a local artist created a painting in her honor. It's currently displayed at the Birmingham Museum of Art. WVTM 13's Bria Douglas spoke with the artist. It's a piece of art born from pain. The story struck uh, us hard. Um, the city itself, I think everyone's in mourning. Birmingham native Erin Mitchell turned to the canvas to express her grief and named the painting Imperishable Stars. At the center of it is what she calls an angel. If you look closely, there are images of children around it, who she says the angel is protecting in a better place. People who we've lost along the path to violence and taken too soon. Among us. The painting entered the museum right before COVID-19 shut it down, so seeing it displayed for only the second time hits her hard. And it kind of takes me back to the place when that um, incident happened and how, we're, how much has happened since then, so it's a really a lot to digest. As we approach one year since Camille's death, Erin wants her mom to see the painting and walk away with this feeling. I was hoping that she could come and take a look at it just so she knows, like, you know, uh, we're grieving with her. I know I give off her all my strength because I can't imagine what it's like. Erin says it took her about a month to finish the painting and she says Camille's mom was happy she did it. No word if she plans on seeing the painting in person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah.